I know you were excited. You were on a little bit earlier, just in case you haven't seen some yep. of the promos. You have to be watching Monday morning. As soon as you wake up, mm -hmm. I guarantee if you flip on NFL Network, you will see Jamie and our crew 8 Eastern time here on NFL Network. It's funny because I mentioned the Rams. We had McVay. He was sitting actually in your chair a couple yeah. hours ago. Yep. MJD says, man, you got a little, little extra pep in your step. You got some energy. Mm -hmm. He's been talking a little bit about this work-life balance. I feel like West Coast move for you. Mm. Um, yeah. West Coast move. Get another Coast another move. another baby. Another baby. Uh, Congratulations. New studio, Thank you. Some new teammates. Yes. Still the same Congrats. show. But, but Exactly. But take me through this. Like I, I think if there's anyone on our team that would understand like work-life balance, it would be you. Well, yeah. When he said that the other day, that resonated with me so much. Mostly, I think, he has struck the work-life balance because I believe his son was born last October. He's got to be seven, eight months old now. It's because he's sleeping through the night. This is why we have established this at this point. He goes on that. Uh, vacation in Italy and he says I oh. miss my son I want to go back it's like because but it was a beautiful vacation because you didn't have the baby monitor hug, humming next to you I felt such connection to Sean McVay when he was honest about this and frankly he has always been at kind of the forefront of this new wave of coaching yeah. and new style and it's okay to send the coaches home yeah. sometimes to have a light Monday after a win I was talking to Akbar Bajabila my new teammate that in his Al Davis Raider days they would lose a game on the road and Al Davis would make them come back to the building and stay overnight. The coaches, players go home, coaches come back in the building because clearly we couldn't get anything right. That just like shook me to my core. Like you can't get anything done when you're sleepless, when you're sleep deprived. So the fact that Sean McVay is frankly coming out and owning this, I love that for him. It's a new version of him that I think we're really appreciating. And then on the flip side, Chargers Commons, which I drive by all the time, oh, yeah. just to give you a general idea of where I've selected to live in the Los Angeles area. You got the new Harbaugh in town and a new face. I heard a, a bird tell me he might live nearby. Okay. And this man was walking down the street. It's a true story of our street the other day. And he was walking five greyhounds, five greyhound wow. dogs. My husband went to Michigan. And he comes firing out of the garage, my husband. He's like, was that Harbaugh? Was that Coach Harbaugh? I'm like, first of all, how many things are wrong with this? We would not live in the same neighborhood as an NFL coach. So you don't start know that. Off, let's start off with that. Also, it's alarming to me that you would consider the fact that Coach Harbaugh might be walking five greyhounds. And that's a normal thing that he would be doing on a Tuesday at 2 p.m. I will tell you this. I wouldn't put, <laughs> put any of that past Coach Harbaugh. Like, right. I just, I just don't know. I, that's that, that's why it. it was believable. Frankly, I had to lean down the street and check if it was him. So these these coaches, whether it be McVay already being here, but we're seeing a new side of him, or frankly, just a whole new head coaching face with the Chargers and Harbaugh, and then myself being new to L.A., I just feel like this is where it's at right now. Yeah, to be fair, I do know the area that you're living in. There are a lot of coaches also on the college side okay. that live in your neighborhood. I am not cool enough, but I heard the two of you guys talk. I feel like any recommendation, anything that you need, MJ No, got, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I do have to ask this. So, have okay. you learned Akbar's middle name? No. That's a, there. That's a, that's a whole different realm of understanding. So just know come that. out of the gates with that on Monday. I will. Yeah. Oh, dang it! Now I, I really you come study. on. You, got some you just study. shook my confidence. I was so no. I was so proud of myself, Bajabi Amila, just saying it have over you and over again. I only call him Akbar. I know, but, but I'm the middle name to, is different. Well, and then I got to go Kyle and Peter. Hit them with the single name, and that's sure. very bland. I'm not going to do that. I'm I'm all about like lower syllable count. Mike Yam. Yes. Two syllables nice. right? in and out, right? Yeah. Or just simply, I, I just four. go straight letters. Yeah, MJD. MJD. Yeah, that's. Easy right. too. I don't know if I've ever said your full name. It's okay. Way, don't worry about it. Don't worry air. about it. So uh, Monday, eight Eastern time, NFL Network. You will hear. You'll see Jamie. Uh, yes. You'll you hear. Will, will, you'll also hear yep. Akbar's full name, not just last middle mm. name. Yep. Right off the top of the show, I will be tuning in for that. I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you. This is it's so awesome to hang with you guys today. Yeah. Stay. We got a couple more hours. I'm good. They said I could go. <laughs> oh, they said you go. Oh, okay. All right. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I, got a, I have four hour shows every day starting next yeah, week for oh, the next yeah, yeah. Um, team. This is a warm up for I'm you. I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah. You got it. You're holding okay. it down. I'm going to hold it down for you. <laughs> MJD is like, if you want to play the role of analyst here on, on uh, Back Together Weekend, he will have you covered here. <laughs>